Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to have a very, very fun and interesting discussion uh, about gospel music singing. So the last time I made a video, it was very good because I was able to discuss, you know, the changes that has happened throughout gospel music in general, not specifically talking about singing, but on this interview I had with me uh, Brother Gino and uh, He's a great singer that I uh, met and uh, I just love to come together with other singers because singing for a long time such as uh, I have, uh, I hardly get to really sit down and talk with another person that has a similar passion to me. So, yes. Gino, thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So, so uh, I want to ask, just starting off, uh, how long have you been singing for? <laughs> I actually have started singing since I was very little up in Frankfurt, you know, back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the youth choir, um, sung lead for uh, for the youth choir, mm -hmm. up until as I got an order from the young adult choir. Um, I was very nervous as a, as a kid because, you know, I was very... I was already in a shell. Mm -hmm. I was more so in a shell. Um, when I'm out of, when I'm outside of being by myself, mm -hmm. I will like literally just sing. Okay. Nobody's business. Even if it's in front of my family, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but when I'm like called up to sing, because you know my grandmother always, most of the time she would call me up. Yeah. When I was little, and I would just be like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to sing. Like mm -hmm. I get the nerves, the shakes, and all that other stuff. Even down to when we used to be caught up as a family, mm -hmm. my mom would be like, okay, well, go ahead and sing, because I, I was the main one yeah. singing in the family. Yeah. So singing it, to this day, it's it's always been my you know my secret place, yeah. my um, place of you know telling God how I feel, you know, because not every time I don't have to talk. To necessarily know right. what God is, knowing what is going on with me, I could do that through singing too. Yeah. So and most people don't realize that, but I've been singing for a long time, nice. and I enjoy it. Yeah. So it's therapeutic for you. It's very it? therapeutic. It is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Would uh, was there a point that was it uh, was there a moment when your family was like, hey, Gino, you know, you know, you got a voice on you, or what was is, was it something that you as a singer kind of just kind of walked into, like you said, just being called out for choir and things like that, or did somebody tell you? Well, not necessarily nobody tell me, but I kind of knew, mm -hmm. you know, based on hearing other people sing growing up in the church, yeah. um, and I kind of just went along with it. Yeah. Um, nobody didn't teach me, nobody didn't really um, actually instruct me how to you know, train my voice. Yeah. I it just, I just did it. So you didn't have like a vocal coach or anything like that. I didn't have a vocal vocal coach, but I did had a sister that's from Mobile, Alabama, who I know, she probably may be listening. <laughs> She's like a second mom to me, um, Sister Frances Smith. Uh, now, hey. when I say hello, um, <laughs> when I say that she to me was one of the inspirational singers that I love listening to. Yeah. From every worship praise and worship service yeah when i hear her saying it's like i'm at all Same and <laughs> when i was a kid she will always pull me to the side and be like sing this song for me and we will practice going back and forth and she would tell me what i'm doing wrong nice. what i need to fix and even down to writing notes mm. so you know? musically not just vocals yeah. wow so if somebody asks me you know you know why like who taught you singing? I would say she would be the one that, that actually taught me singing. Wow. Um, because, you know, she has that range. Okay. That um, a lot of people don't really have. I mean, she's a strong singer. Mm -hmm. And I'd be, th I'd just be telling myself, a lot of people from the South, they have, they have some strong singers. Yeah. And she's one of them. Yeah. So I do appreciate her because I would not be a singer now. And I'm, I would say I'm 10 times better now. Yeah. Because I know how to train my voice and right. how to turn it on and off yeah so i would say she she loved me a lot she really did that's awesome well yeah. thank you sister smith for your contribution to make this gentleman such a fine singer like for, that's that i i think that's amazing because similarly to when i was talking to bev uh i feel like a lot of us as singers we always have that person that in some form or fashion to kind of 
uh, give you the framework as to like what singing is about and yeah. what you need to do and what you need to pay attention to because a good singer should be able to hear themselves. Yeah. Because a lot of people can't hear. Like they'll sing a song and you'll be like, well, and they'll be like, but, you know, so yeah. if they don't have that training to some degree or even just have that awareness be brought to them yeah. of the things that they're doing, then uh, they're really much, you know, they're not going to see any growth. So That's thank true. you again for that. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. I mean, like I said, I mean, every this is. I'm just, you know, singing itself is it's it bought me a long way. Mm -hmm. It really did because even when I was young, I always told myself that I always wanted a youth choir. I always wanted to direct. Yeah. You know, even from seeing my uncle back in Frankfurt, and you know, back in Frankfurt we had a choir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, just watching him direct and how to, you know, lead the mm -hmm. group and how the singing on it, it inspired me to nice. actually follow in his footsteps. Nice. And now seeing me now yeah. and um, just, you know, directing the group that we have now mm -hmm. and then just seeing, seeing other people's reactions, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, like, it, it, I, it, like yeah. my dreams actually came true. Like, yeah. it all really yeah. happened because I had been talking about doing this for, like for years. Wow. And even down to the point where I even even my my dad like he enjoys hearing us sing and mm -hmm. just hearing by that I know I'm doing something right. Yeah, that's encouraging. So, yeah. yeah, it is. So mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that, and I'm the best to believe it's going to continue and it's going to you know yeah. grow. You know, the yes. more youth come, the more right. voices, and that's what I'm looking for. Yes. So. Yeah. Shout out youthful voices. Yeah. Shout out to the youthful voices because since day one they've been there since day one and it only started yeah. it by just me saying that okay we're going to sing a song so let's see how this goes no, and then from there you know when we first started singing in jesus my rock jesus my rock yeah our foundation song it was just like it was not only hearing everybody sing it, yeah. but even during the youth convocation and yeah. hearing how people blend. Yeah. And the spirit was very heavy that night. I mm -hmm. would never forget that night. Uh -huh. um, that made me decide, yeah, it's, this is not going to be a long time thing. Yeah. We're going to continue this. And we have done it. And wow. a lot of the brothers and sisters do appreciate us singing. And, and I appreciate them that they love, you know, hearing the harmonies come yes. together. and. Yeah everybody on one accord and I strongly ask you know all the young people all the young people from you know first church like if you want to if you want to join join you know and it's just it's, it's I, will, I, will, I will I like to see more talent come yeah. you know then and then I just I just like to see more talent come and then see how they get great joy you know singing yes, yes. Um, especially when I'm directing, I see everybody's facial expressions. Yeah. It's like I see it, and it makes me happy. Yeah. So I yeah. do appreciate it. That's that's awesome. Yeah. And, I, and I'm so glad that when I first came, uh, well, I joined the choir me personally in Mobile because mm -hmm. that's always something that I always try to find a choir. But coming to over here, seeing the camaraderie, because yeah. a choir, if you can sing together, that's good. But you gotta get along to some degree and cooperate with the choir director. That, that is true. And I did hear a little bit about you know Mo was telling me. A few others, uh, you know, Gino's, he's really on top of things and don't, you know, because there are choir directors that's very, like, you know, soft touch and they're very, come on, guys, like, and, and they don't get anything done. So exactly. I, I do appreciate and I do respect the, you know, uh, appropriate level of sternness and commitment and seriousness that you take to it because we don't come, we come together to enjoy ourselves, but, you know, we want to sound right and do our jobs as altos, tennis, and surrounds and bases. Yeah. So, and it's a time yeah. and place for everything. I yes. mean, it's a time and place to act crazy and be with your friends yeah. and it's also time to get down to the nitty gritty yeah. and just rehearse yeah and yeah there's i'm i'm cool with everybody i'm friends with everybody but once rehearsals mm -hmm. start oh that friend gino is out the door <laughs> out, the door. out the door that's so yeah, yeah it's that you're right about that that's needed yes yeah, so it's very needed there's a reason why y'all uh manny moss clark i'm just gonna give her a shout out there's a reason why she made genius singers because she wasn't playing all the time and uh it's not, you don't gotta be throwing shoes at people, but- But she did it though. She did it, and it, it worked. <laughs> it made some titan singers. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think, keep that, keep that up, man. And uh, don't, you know, don't line up because uh, 
tough instruction makes some tough singers, you know, so. It does. Yeah, it I, does. every time you see it, so. Yeah. Just to shift gears a little bit, uh, I want to ask you, what's your favorite thing about gospel vocalists? Because, you know, the, we got all kind of secular artists that can sing their faces off, like, hands down. But in the gospel music industry, what's your favorite thing about them uh, as vocalists? Well, in the gospel mu music industry, a lot of people don't understand this. Singing is a way of ministry. Mm. You know, it's the way to encourage people who are going through certain things. And what I like about the gospel industry is that there are certain individual gospel artists who, you know, has a different, unique way of bringing people in, reeling them in, what they're yeah. singing to. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, a lot of gospel artists, they, they want to take it to the 21st century type of gospel, which I'm really not into. Mm -hmm. I'm more of that raw encouragement, you know, ear, eyes crying, yeah. like snotty nose yeah. type of gospel singing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's my type of, type of thing that mm -hmm. I like because it, it, it speaks personally through not only you, but yeah. for me and to anybody else who's going through certain situations. Yeah. Um, gospel is just to, it's, it's, it makes people feel like they're home. Yeah. Um, you know, you can't really get that through secular R&B music, even though it may sound good, it may, you know, the, the music may sound good, but it's nothing like that gospel sound, yeah. especially when you like blast it on the radio or blast it on, you know, a sound system or your car or your iPad, um, anything. Um, just hearing it, especially when you're by yourself listening mm. to it, and then it's like you're not only listening to it, but you you can get in worship mode while you're listening to it. So even, you know, there have been times where you may look back at certain things that you've been through, then just hearing that one particular, mm -hmm. particular um, song that comes on that radio, it's like, that's for me. Yeah. And it like a lot of people may ask you, well, why are you singing that song too much? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that song is meant for me personally of the th things that I've been through. Right, right. So, gospel itself, mm -hmm. it, 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 is, it is important. Mm -hmm. You know, um, even going through, you know, trying times and family situations or yeah. uh, a situation from the job or the death of a family or, yeah. you know, just things that makes you feel so low. Yeah there's a certain song in in gospel that will like yeah. pick you back up it's and it's it, it is what it is i mean yeah 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 i think you know i think maybe you know looking at a lot of uh i remember for example uh think of mary j blige or a few other artists was saying when they were working on the uh the clark sister movie that and many artists have said this over a period of time that oh when i'm going through this i'm going through that i just listen to your music and it picks me up and it's it's just interesting to to see that parallel because when people are going through such difficult times and going through tri trials and issues in their personal life, yeah. they all what they don't default. Well, some people default to like some screamo because you know gotta pray for them. But you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, there are people, most time people default to gospel music, and yeah. not just you know when uh, when we hear gospel music, we usually think black gospel music. But uh, oh no, there's certain genres yeah. of gospel. I mean, there is. There's Indian gospel. There's yeah. Caucasian gospel. Yeah. yeah. Um, is Jamaican gospel, African gospel. There's yeah. so many gospel yeah. eras and different type of. Yeah. It's just it's different. It's so diverse. It's not always the same. Like you know, mm -hmm. everybody thinks that okay, they go to the black church. You're used to the black gospel. Right. I mean, no. I've been so versatile in gospel music to where it's not only because I was so used to listening to just black right, right. gospel, right. but you know just thinking outside the box and just exploring what's out there. Right. There's a lot of good gospel songs that are um, that are out there. Yeah. Like even, even you know, high level worship praise, you yeah. know, that Caucasian yeah. gospel. Yeah. It's something it about, it is there. something about that. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm, it, me, it takes me there, it me, really does. Let me mention, uh, you're familiar with uh, Carrie Jo? I'm a, yes. One of her, one of my favorite songs by her is, uh, um, uh, uh, is it Kingdom or? I think it's Kingdom. Is it, uh, there's moon and stars, they were, yep. the morning yep. sun That's was it. there. That, yep. Just that simple, uh, doo, doo, mm -hmm. doo. like, I'm telling you, it could, 
it could make a person make a whole different decision in their personal yep. life that they that for the better just how effective music can be yeah it's crazy it does and even down to and i'm not only i'm a singer i'm also a musician as well so i listen to both as well mm -hmm. so i got <laughs> i think you put me onto this um i even i had never heard this gospel artist but i have been so obsessed with this gospel artist because he's not american you know he's African Benjamin Dewey. Uh, yeah, Dewey. Yeah. Ben, I think it's Benjamin Dewey. Yeah. Listening to him and his his Man. way of putting things together and yes. musically and um vocally is like out of this world. That's how, yeah. And there's this one song that actually I love. It, it, I think it's called Bow Down and Worship. Oh yeah, is it? yeah. That's my favorite one, and it's different because you know a lot of Africans and Jamaicans when they are very they are very spiritual oh yes and they mm -hmm. take their spirituality very seriously and yes. when they worship they worship yes they don't yeah i can say that i can go with that type of situation based on you know the gospel that we have now because mm -hmm. nowadays a lot of gospel artists want to go to the hip-hop yeah. um, area area yeah, pop your fingers you know um, yeah. and it's like yeah they don't they don't, don't hey, we don't need that you know we don't need that and i'll just be telling myself well where is that you know that singing, that raw singing, yeah, where it's yes. where it's just there, pure, it was pure and honest, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, like I said, we, we don't get that. No, it's very rare, and like he's coming across men like Benjamin and so many others mm. is such. That's why, like you know, I often times if I if I post a song uh, that I know is like you know that either gets a lot of traction or something, I. I, I stick. I'm a, I'm one of those. I'm obsessed for a while when I get yeah. to a song because, and I, I think I'm obsessed, and I think we might be have that similar in similar in common. I did that. We might that have have that in common because uh, we it's so scarce to find good songs. Right. So I feel like if we have such a variety of things to choose from in terms of good songs, because there's a, so many gospel music, but like you're saying, amongst our generation, uh, we almost wearing out the old the old songs. Yeah. So you know better or not the new songs are gonna be old if time permits so uh it's so scarce to find good songs so i think that's why it means so much to people like you and i that yeah. come across them exactly yeah. that is true yeah. yeah who are some of your personal favorite gospel artists that you really glean from or you enjoy listening to um i do listen i do enjoy listening to the andrea johnson um a lot of people hate on her um yeah. I don't know why it is, cause maybe she she has her own unique way of mixing things up. Not saying she doesn't take it to you know the hip hop mm -hmm. or the R and B soulful type of situation, mm -hmm. but she can carry on a song and actually minister it to you personally. Yeah, <laughs> and a lot of people just. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just the way when I first started hearing her when she was doing Sunny's Best, mm -hmm. she can carry a song so well where Crazy. it's like even her ad libbing is dope. Yeah. Her <laughs> her range, her vibrato, yes. her bark, yes. everything of everything about her singing is just amazing. Yeah. And honestly, if I had a voice like that, even though I'm not there yet, yeah. but I know I can be there, but if I had a voice like that, I would have, it would have been over with. It would have been over with. <laughs> yeah. I'm listen, for real. Listen, man, I, I'm telling you, I I just, sometimes it leaves you speechless. I don't know, like, mm -hmm. you, ever, you ever try to talk about something, you're just like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's so interesting because one thing about her range too, uh, when it comes from, as it pertains to low to high, I. There are some times when she's singing songs and I'm like, she can't get up there. And then she just takes it and then she comes yeah. back down and I'm like, Andrea. Yeah, and it's and, and and <laughs> honestly the, the the key of it is all here. You know, it's all here. And those strong, strong gospel singers, well, they know what, what I'm talking about. It's all about the diaphragm. Yes, they yeah. it's all about the diaphragm. Yes. And <laughs> even from that, not only do I listen to her, I also listen to um uh, Zakari Cortez. Oh my gosh, Zakari Cortez. Zakari Cortez. Cortez. I said that like the opposite. Zakari Cortez. Zakari Cortez. Even yeah. with him, it's like he's, he's insane. Are you kidding me? He's insane. <laughs> like he, like he's, he's 
Oh God, it's it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The Cardi, we need to do like a whole like. And it's US just thing. you know it's not only that you know I yeah. also listen to the Pay Sisters. Mm -hmm. The Pay Sisters is there's they are so they are so anointed gifted yeah. sisters that sing. Yeah, they sing. They sing. <laughs> and I I feel like people be sleeping on them a lot because yeah, they true. all they hear is the the Clark, the Clark sisters, sisters. Don't get me wrong, I love the Clark sisters. Don't get me wrong. I love you. But it's the paces and the whinings. Yes. But yeah. it's they be sleeping on the pace sisters. I admit it. I sleep on them a, just a little bit. I'm I'm getting there. I'm I'm sorry. It's just yeah. all all of them are just so anointed and gifted in yeah. so many ways, and just hearing them even got me yeah. like, oh my gosh, yeah. like, you're really speaking to me right now at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's, it's crazy. It, it, it is very crazy. Yeah. It is very crazy. Speaking of the Pace Sisters, I mentioned them just the thought came to me. The first song I ever heard from the Pace Sisters was a YouTube video that says, uh, If God is in the building. Uh, I don't know if you've heard the one that, that for me, I just was like, If yeah, God. I just, it was one of those like churchy yeah. automatics. So I was like, That's the one. I, that's the first one. And I think this is kind of silly, but I saw like 15 people standing there. I'm like, Look, okay, this is a whole choir. I don't know if I want to roll with this. So I kind of fell off. But yeah. but I, I I do want to look into their music a bit more and Lashawn Pace specifically I found a song by her mm -hmm. at my times and I fell in love with that so yeah I definitely do got, got to do my diligence and look into them a bit more but, yeah yeah and even Duran Pace I rest her soul Duran yes like Duran Pace I don't know what it is about that woman but she yeah, she she will she put me in tears most of the time with her because mm -hmm. I know she takes her her singing seriously she's mm -hmm. anointed. Mm -hmm. And it's like wow. listening to her and just doing, just ad libbing through just small things. Mm -hmm. That's how mm -hmm. talented she is. Wow, that's if you can find those, if you can ad lib through small little gaps, you got yeah. something. Like, that's, that's so like, even when she used to sing, I'll always be grateful, like yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you just came, just like, just <laughs> you just came and just mixed it up. Yeah, it's it's crazy. That, it's crazy how a lot yeah. of gifted singers just yes. do just make up something small and turn it into something yes. that is like wow. Yes, yes. It, it it's an inspiration. That that's one thing I do love. I must say about contemporary gospel music, mm -hmm. where they the spontaneity is just off the charts. You know, mm -hmm. and yeah. I, I, that's something you would not find in any other type of gospel music most of the time. Yep. and that's something that makes them I think stand out the most. That is true. The, uh, freestyle thing mm -hmm. you know but yeah that's awesome man so yeah. so the pace sisters and uh leandria johnson oh yeah and zicardi cortez actually Oops. so yeah those were my top three. Oh, oh oh the interviewer got got all right so zicardi cortez yeah. the pace sisters and leandria johnson bless my heart praise god amen awesome. <laughs> that's awesome i love it i love it all right so just winding it down now i'm gonna gotta put on your vocal teacher hat really quick and help our help our singers out there like myself too because there's always something you can learn as a singer okay um what what would you tell a person who wants to be a better vocalist from scratch like if you just realize like i really want to be good at this thing what is the key thing you, you want to tell them right now the key thing is always to train your voice listen to certain songs where how you can you know reel reel it in and then reel it back out a lot of times singers who can actually sing can actually do will can become overboard of yeah. singing when they think it don't really it sounds good but really it doesn't um i will say that and also just do um exercises vocal exercises it helped it helped me as a kid honestly because vocal exercises can actually help you with reaching a certain range that you haven't reached before okay, okay. um as far as that drink a lot of lemon lemon and water lemon and water it opens your throat okay. okay um i learned that because you know even when i have friends who are singers who you know sing from different churches and stuff yeah. and they tell me look in order for you to get that voice together, you gotta continue to hydrate that throat. Yes, yes. Because if you don't hydrate, you're gonna hear yourself screech, scratch, crack, crack, like that, yeah. and don't force it out. Mm -hmm. You have to let it flow, especially mm -hmm. if you have a microphone. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to like force it out, so you can be too, too loud. Where you just straining, you don't want to strain. It's the whole key is to let it flow out 
your throat. And then once it flows out, bang, you can actually hear and feel yourself doing certain things that you can't do. Okay. You know, right. with the riffs, the runs, and you know, there's a lot of people who sings that just sings it flat out. Yeah. Just without straight. riffs and runs. And yeah, that's a lot of... Yeah. So, I would say do that too. Hey everybody, so sorry about the technical difficulties. This quality may be different than the previous clip that uh, was just rolling, but we're just going to jump back into it and finish this uh, amazing discussion up, okay? So let me just ask you, what's one thing you want every choir member or aspiring choir member to know to make choir rehearsal go by more effectively? Um, I would say keep a mindset of, you know, have that one sound that you're working on. Um, once you're, when you come to rehearsal, you need to come prepared. You need to expect what is going to be hand, handed to you. So that way you can, you know, you can prepare yourself to be ready by what's going to come to you when a director gives you a specific song or a specific piece. If not, then you're going to have a choir that just sounds stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm the type of person, as a director, me, I do not like to sound a mess. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the members in the choir knows if you sound a mess, I will point you out. Yeah. And tell you, um, what's that key that you're singing? I no, stand up. Let me hear you. Like I'm that type of choir director. I mean, not trying to be rude, but I'm helping you so that you know. And I know there there's a lot of gifted singers that I hear that are yeah. very gifted. But once they're around people, mm -hmm. the shyness comes. Mm -hmm. So I would say prepare yourself. Always study your music. Please, please, please study your music. And it's like, even when it comes to rehearsals, when you know you had to sing at a certain day, yeah. and if you're not studying your music, you're not singing at yeah. all. Okay. At, at all. All right, all right. I will say all that right. to all choir members, um, even even choir members who have been in choirs for a long period of time yeah. before me, they know how they know how it is, how the director is. They don't come to play. They do not come to play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the and the. And the choir is not meant to, you know, come to play. Yeah, we will talk, laugh here and there, but in all seriousness, we're here to rehearse. Yeah. You know, we have work to do. We have work to go over. So, therefore, we're going to do that. And then once we're done and once everything is set in stone, then we can get out. Yeah. That's about it. Nice, man. Well, I think that's, I think that's a good lesson for me, myself. I definitely got some studying to do, and I uh, think that everybody should uh, take heed to that as well. So, uh before we go, can you just, if there's a song on your heart, could you, either way, I'm going to ask you to sing a little bit of something to uh, share with uh, my followers. All right. Um, okay. God knows a plan He has for me He knows the thoughts He thinks towards me And this is not an accident. I'm alive because there's more. Who's running? God knows a plan He has for me. He knows my thoughts. He thinks towards me. And this is not an accident. I'm alive because there's more. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. And this is not an accident. I'm alive because there's more. I'm alive because there's more. Yeah. That's why I'm praying, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, thanks, camera. <laughs> Yo, bro, I, that was beautiful, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. He's alive because there's more. We're alive. Wow. I love that song. Your voice is like butter on top of butter. Like that. I love that. I continue to learn. So that's thank you. Well, keep it up, man. I Please do it. keep up. Keep up the singing, and thank you so much for spending thank this you. time with me. I, thank you. I learned and reestablished so much in my mind what we were discussing, and uh, I hope we get to catch up another time one of these days. No problem. All right. Anytime. Again, this is Brother Gino, phenomenal, beautiful singer and musician, choir director, 
you've got it going on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, comment down below any of your uh, in, uh, inputs. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more like this, let me know as well. Uh, God bless you guys and peace be unto you. Peace.